What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to give you guys my honest opinion on the latest addition, well the latest red or red layer, to the game. But before we get into that people, I may as well show you the loot I obtained for completing it first. Now, let me know what you got down below within that comment section. If you got anything decent, let me know. I know there's a few weapons you can obtain. I didn't get any weapons. I got two pieces of armor. I also got the... Um, the emblem which everybody else gets, the Emperor's Envy, uh, the two armor pieces I got, I got the legs, the boots of Felt Rock, and I also got the vest of Felt Rock. Not, to be honest, they remind me of, I don't know why, but the Prison of Elders gear from Destiny 1, I don't know why that is, but they don't look, okay, they look boring there, but once you apply a shade to them, they look actually quite good. Let me show you, say, let's put this one on. Calisus treasure. I mean, look at that. That's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. Uh, so yeah, quite a few things there. And I've also got ornaments you can get as well, which you can see there's challenges you have to do, which are actually take you into the, the Leviathan Raid, which I don't really like, to be honest. I probably won't ever get the ornaments for them, but yeah. Uh, so besides these and a few callous tokens, which once you cash in, give you callous armor, which is weird as well, but yeah. Besides that, I got these two pieces and that's it. But I know there are chests within this thing, within this uh, red layer, which I didn't actually get, the hidden ones. I saw that old, um found one as well. I haven't actually done that because they were announced or found after we got to the boss fight. So yeah, we'll probably go back and get them. But hey, what I got so far was two pieces of armor, um, a few tokens, the emblem, and that's, well, quite a few legendary end gums. You do get a lot of legendary end gums from it. Uh, so yeah, the Raid Layer, the first of two, which we know so far will be coming as add-ons to the Leviathan Raid. So where do we start with this? Now I see people all over Twitter saying it's great, the boss encounter is one of the best ever, and that they can't wait for the other Red Layer, uh, they can't wait for the Prestige Mode, uh, basically plenty of people seem to love it. Now before I give you guys my honest opinion on it, within the first few days of every Raid or event we've ever had, you always see... Uh, the majority of people saying how great they were and how great the work Bungie have put into these actual raids is. It's basically the same old, same old. What we're getting here is what we've had before. There's no difference with this raid. Give it a few weeks and these same people no doubt will be bored with it and upset with Bungie about it being too short and too easy and wanting much, much more. It's, had, it's just how the way it goes with this game. For me, I feel there are some great things about it but some disappointing things too. First is for me, it doesn't really feel like a raid. It, in my opinion, is how I'd imagine a six-man strike to be on a hard difficulty. And me saying hard is really exaggerating a little. Sure, at first it might seem a little hard. The boss mechanics and the amount of ads that spawn in uh, may seem a little difficult. But let me tell you guys, it's way more straightforward than any other raid boss I believe we've had so far. It kind of reminds me of a scaled-down Axis fight. The mechanics around it just do that, I don't know why. Now I ain't saying it being short and not too hard is a bad thing, personally I actually enjoyed it, I ain't following a bandwagon of people on Twitter or social media saying it's amazing, you guys know I speak my mind and I tell the truth, I don't follow no bandwagons, but I did personally enjoy it, I love the idea of it being straightforward, but many of my fire team members thought the opposite, stating things such as Bungie have basically just given us, like I said, a long strike. It, at the end of the day, is just a matter of opinion and what people want to play. Personally, I enjoyed its length and to be honest, the boss ain't the hardest that we've ever fought, but it's definitely, in my opinion, one of the most fun and that to me is seriously important. Many raids to me just ain't fun and I can literally tell within the first night session of grinding them if I'm going to enjoy doing it every week. It seems like this will be one of the raids I will enjoy doing every week. One you can just pick up completely within half an hour, collect your loot and move on. Also something I seriously enjoyed about it was the scenery, the design of this raid, the encounters and so forth were absolutely amazing. The design team at Bungie need to lend a helping hand, maybe a fourth or two, to everybody else that works at Bungie because they definitely don't let us down, they never let us down. The game, how can you say, it does look great for what it is. It's definitely one of the best looking in my opinion, without a doubt. Also, although short, there is still a decent amount to do. Let's talk more about the boss fight. His name is Argos. Argos here in the UK is a store you can literally purchase anything from. So yes, as you'd expect, a few jokes were made there. I forgot to mention also that he and his enemies are Vex, great addition, considering we all thought it was going to be Cabal again. 
but I'm happy we actually fight off against the Vex in this new encounter. I also enjoy boss fights where it doesn't single a person out, like at Cruelty you needed a sword bearer, at Oryx you needed a runner and so forth. This is much more straightforward, two either side and you get to work. The amount of adds and all the things that are going on while you're trying to deal damage to um, Argos is great also. It's like a Vex wild party and I loved it. Fire just comes from all directions, from Argos himself, from all the adds around you. It's just crazy, it really is. I can't imagine what this will be like on prestige mode, but I imagine it's going to be pretty fun. One thing I did notice, which I ain't really saw anyone talk about, is the fact that there'd be no less damage phase. You know, basically like we have seen in the past, once you get them down to a certain amount of health, you have to go all out and just fire, like Callus, but there was nothing of such here. Once he was down, he was down. And the end of it actually surprised me, being teleported back to the Callus throne room was pretty cool. So yes, after playing this, I'm actually optimistic about the second red layer, judging by this one anyway. This is by far one of my faves, nice, short and sweet. Plus the fact that there are less places to earn rewards, it means the end game will last a little longer, which is never a bad thing in my opinion. What I don't get though, and maybe Bungie might fix this in the near future, is the fact of the level of the loot rewards. Why does Kallus drop 330s, yet this new red layer doesn't? Should that be the case? I don't know. Now me personally, I couldn't care less about stepping back into the Leviathan raid. For me, like I said earlier, if a raid isn't fun to me, I won't bother playing it. This one, however, is pretty fun, and I look forward to next week when I can go through again with my characters and get them juicy loot rewards. Now one thing I will say though, I think the problem many people are having with it when it comes to this new red layer is the fact it's called a raid. If it wasn't called a red layer, people wouldn't care less because the whole concept of it is great, but the fact it's titled raid, many people were disappointed with how short it is. When we see raid or hear raid, we expect a long deep process of teamwork, challenges and lots of deaths trying to work towards the next path. This isn't one of those, this is a 6 man activity which is yes, fun, rewarding, short and sweet. I am glad however they tagged it a red layer, adding that layer onto the end of it was very important. But definitely expect the same kind of thing with a second red layer which comes with expansion too. One thing I will say though and end the video on, and although this will come across as negative which isn't really how I want it to sound, but hey it is what it is, whatever. This new raid layer matches the kind of theme we are used to with Destiny 2 and what it's basically offered so far since release. Just a watered down version of the original. But what do you think about this new raid layer people? Let me know down below within that comment section. Guys I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Get it right.